So the gun community has lost their minds over bump stocks. There are comments, there are posts, there are videos like this one everywhere right now on social media with people providing their own commentary on the situation. So uh, I held off for a while, I even thought about not doing it, but I've had some good conversations with people and um, have come to a couple of conclusions. So I'm going to share them. Now, I would rather exchange information in a comment section down below, whether you like or dislike a video, I don't care, but down below in the comment section, if we keep things civil and we have a good exchange of information and we can have adult conversation, I'll leave the comments open. Uh, if it gets to be flame wars and bashing people and calling them names like fake patriot seems to be the, the one that guys are throwing around right now, uh, which I find funny, um, then we'll just shut the comments down. So let's get, in, get, get into it. Bump stocks. <clears throat> were used in the largest mass shooting in the history of the United States. Now to squash any conspiracy theories, I will tell you guys, I don't believe this man acted alone. I believe there's way more to it than what we're being sold. But we can only go by the information we have. That one person used bump stocks and had a, a, an arsenal in a hotel room and killed 58 innocent people. And that 58's the number I want you to think about. Because it is the, the largest mass shooting in the history of this great country. If immediately after this happened, you did not think something was going to give, you need to wake up. As soon as I heard, not just from the deaths, I thought, oh great, here we go. But when I heard bump stocks were involved, I said, bump stocks are going away. I had a conversation with guys at work. Bump stocks are done, they're out of here. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get away with tighter regulations, but I think bump stocks are gone. Now, speaking of tighter regulations, the NRA released a statement, and they said, I'm paraphrasing, tighter regulations on bump stocks would be acceptable because they changed a semi-auto rifle to an automatic rifle. That's essentially what they were saying. Whether you agree with that or not, doesn't matter either. The NRA is a political organization extremely powerful political organization. So for you guys who are abandoning ship now because you disagree with one statement, haven't you learned anything in the power of numbers, sticking together through hard times and understanding the way the political system works? It's a game. There's give and take. There's dangling carrots to get your what you want. And then you give something in return. Now, it's always been that way. And it will continue to be that way. For those of you guys who have your pitchfork in one hand and your torch in the other and you're screaming, not one more inch, Molan Lave. By God, I'm not giving up my guns. Good. Nobody's asking you to give up your guns. But the first thing that happened when the NRA made this announcement is you guys went to your, your drawer and you pulled them. Man, you put your old dusty gun on that you haven't shot in a year and, you know, put it in your holster, your old leather crappy holster. And man, you're ready to fight. <laughs> you're the same people who give 35% of your paycheck away every two weeks to the government. You are the same people who never... Never threw a fit when you were forced to buy health insurance, when Social Security is pulled out of your paycheck, when this government gave money to Iran, etc. Where's the outrage there? And you want to call me a fake patriot? That's funny. Because I can tell you, I would fight for my guns. Somebody thinks they're going to do a gun confiscation in my house, they're going to have to kill me to get them. I can promise you that with 100% certainty. You think I'm going to turn in extended magazines? Anything else I own that's an accessory? No. If the government says, though, that we can't buy them anymore, what choice do we have? Oh, I know. We go to the polls and we vote. For all of you kooks out there going way over the top with your comments, you better be voting. 
And I'm talking in your local election, your state elections, and your federal elections. Because if not, shut your pie hole. Nobody wants to hear from you. People die to give you that possibility and that opportunity to vote. So vote. That's how you eliminate, that's how you drain the swamp, to borrow a term from President Trump, who, by the way, shouldn't be in office. If you don't think the system still works, as I didn't, I thought it was all rigged until 2016, when President Trump beat the media, the Republican establishment, the Democrat establishment, the Hillary crime family, Clinton crime family. It's mind-numbing that he's in office, but it shows the brilliance of our forefathers. Our founders built a system that still works 240 years later, despite the odds. It, it, it's unbelievable that it still worked as well as it did. The vote tally isn't close if you eliminate these, these liberal-run cesspools. No outrage when you're taxed at 30, 35%. Somebody says, we're going to regulate an accessory, and you're ready to fight. Half you guys wouldn't fight your neighbor with fist. And you're going to fight with guns? The government of the United States? No, you're not. So go on and put your dusty guns back in their cubby hole, wherever you keep them, and shut up. Unless you're voting, unless you're training with your pistol, rifle, Whatever you plan to fight with. Bump stocks are an accessory and a novelty. Do you have the right to take them to the range and enjoy them? Absolutely, unless they're illegal. We already talked about that. Who makes the laws? Congress. If you don't like it, vote them out. Now, some of you states are a lost cause. You like California, you adults. You vote Jerry Brown in, Kevin DeLeon, Mr. Ghost Gun himself, Feinstein, and Boxer, and Pelosi. What's wrong with you people? Oh, wait, I know. It's the liberal trash that lives out there that continues to vote them in. So if you're not liberal trash, if you're a constitution-loving American, get out of California. While we're at it, I think we should build that wall up the, up, right up the east coast of, of California. Just... Give them to Mexico. I don't care. I don't care. The state's a lost cause. The Constitution of this United States guarantees our freedom, our right to keep and bear arms, not keep and bear accessories. And I'm including magazine extensions aftermarket triggers, even aftermarket sites, if the government says they're illegal and they ban them and we can't buy them, we vote those people out. It's the only way we're going to win. Pitchforks and torches and screaming Molon Lobby is not going to do it. Now you may sound tough, but we've already talked about that. Most of you guys aren't. Most of you aren't. Go to the polls. Vote these rhinos out. If you're in California, New Jersey, New York, move. Let these cesspools drown in their own filth and smut and swamp gases. Who cares? They don't care about your rights. I do care about your rights. I care about my rights. Go to the polls, guys. Elect new board members in the NRA. We have the power to choose in this country. Thanks for watching.